Hi guys, welcome to today's English lesson. I'm gonna teach you the best phrases that you can use in your English text messages that are either abbreviations or they're slang phrases. And I'm gonna show you the phrases that you absolutely need to know when you're texting with an American English speaker. Let's look at some conversations with my very good friends and I'll teach you the phrases. A really common texting abbreviation in English is LMK. If someone says LMK, it means let me know. Let me know if you're interested or you want to go. NGL is another really common abbreviation. It means not gonna lie. Now this is kind of hard for non-native English speakers to understand because all of the time English speakers say, hey, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like that. Or, I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel like going today. This means that you're being brutally honest. You're not going to lie and you're not going to do what we call sugarcoating something. If you sugarcoat your feelings, it means you pretend like you like something or you pretend like you feel happy even though you feel negatively about it. So if you say, not gonna lie, I don't feel like it, means like, I'm just being honest, I'm telling you exactly how I feel. N-G-L, not gonna lie. N-P is sometimes used to abbreviate no problem. So if you want to say to someone like that works or yeah, that should be okay, I have no problem accommodating that, you can say N-P in text message. HBU with the question marks means how about you? It means that I want to ask you the same question. So if someone texts you, what's up? And you say nothing or I'm busy right now, HBU, I mean, how about you? Are you busy too or what's up with you? Now, sometimes in English, especially in text messages, you'll hear someone say thoughts. They ask your thoughts on something. They ask for your opinion. But instead of saying, what do you think about this? They just say, thoughts. When I was looking through my text messages, trying to come up with some ideas for this video, I saw a couple of my friends said thoughts. Like, what do you think about this? Do you wanna do this? Or what do you think about what I just did? What's your opinion? Thoughts. When you use the fire emoji in English, it means something is very good. I think this is probably pretty universal even not in English, but if you say just fire emoji, it means awesome, great, that's awesome, and it's fire. In English, this is in spoken English and in text message English, if you say my ex or my exes, this means my ex-girlfriends or my ex-boyfriends or my ex-husband or my ex-wife. It just really depends on the context of how it's used in a conversation. So in this conversation, Taylor Swift, my good friend, of course, she says, no exes. This means none of my ex-boyfriends or anyone's ex-boyfriends are allowed at the party. And of course, she's famous for writing songs about her emotions and about her ex-boyfriends and how they have mistreated her. I wanna teach you guys that if you write just a laughing emoji, usually it means like, haha, very funny. Now in English, sometimes we'll just put the crying emoji and older people seem to think this means like, I'm sad, but it actually means like, I'm laughing. So know the difference between just making a sad emoji, put it up here, and the crying because you're laughing emoji. I know people in my family, I won't call anyone out specifically, mess this up and it can get pretty awkward in a conversation over text message. An emoji that's more commonly used or equally used nowadays to say that something is funny is the death emoji. This is used to symbolize, of course, I'm laughing so hard. I can't breathe, I'm feeling I'm dying. And of course, the younger generation has really started to use this more often than people like myself who are a little bit older. 
it just means dead. So there's another slang English word for you when you want to say that something's really funny, you could say, I'm dead. It means I'm dying because it's so funny. A lot of times I was looking through my text messages on my own phone. If you just want to say cool, great, we often in English say just nice. Nice, it means that's funny or that's good. Nice, period. I have a lot of one word text messages from people just saying nice. If I tell them something good, they say nice. A lot of times in text messages, again, if we want to say something as very funny, if someone sends us a funny video or a funny picture, we can say L-M-A-O. Or if it's really funny, we say L-M-A-O-O-O-O-O. This means I'm laughing my off. And you know, it's very commonly used with your friends just to say something is so, so, so funny. I would be so, so grateful if you guys subscribe to my channel. I can't wait to teach you more English. And I would love it if you commented below any phrases or texting lingo that was new to you in today's lesson. I'd love to chat with you in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Goodbye.